I always wanted to try how to make a komihimo braid, but it looks so complicated. Until a few days ago, I was at the San Diego Fair and happened to stop by at the San Diego Weavers Guild, and they were teaching and passing along a komihimo loom just fashioned out of a styrofoam uh, craft styrofoam and made into a komihimo loom and it is actually so easy and simple to do and I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. I made uh, bracelets out of it and I put paper beads with it but I'm just gonna be showing you today how to do the Komihimo the way that I learned from the San Diego Weavers Guild. So now I'm just going to take my seven strands of yarn or thread, uh, do an overhand knot like this. And I will take the craft foam that I made into a komihimo loom like this. I will take my knotted yarn and I am going to put the knot through the hole like this turn it upside down so that your knot is here at the bottom of the foam and then you would distribute the yarn and put it in each slot that you made on the foam like this. That's one. I'm going to put this one here and all seven strands should be should have its own slot in the foam like this and you have the yarn hanging here at the bottom. You should have an empty slot here. This is where the yarn would go in the empty space here. So now that you have all seven yarns on the slots, you will count, you can Either do it clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm going to do mine counterclockwise where I would count one, two, three from the empty space. Count one, two, three. I will take the third yarn and then put it in the empty space right here. And I will turn it same way, counterclockwise, all the time and go to where I have the next empty space. I would again count one, two, three and take the third yarn and put it on the empty space. Turn it the same way all the time, one, two, three. Take this, put it in the empty slot, turn it counterclockwise, one, two, three, take this and put it on the empty space. Turn it to where the empty 
spaces one two three take that yarn and put it in the empty space you will continue to do that and every now and then you would adjust and pull the knot here and you can even hold it like this when you have a long piece at the bottom you can hold it like this and one two three this is what I did at the San Diego Fair so they were handing this out for free and uh, they taught me how to do this and I have a long piece here so I'm just gonna finish what I'm doing and then show you when I have about seven inches of it so now I have made this long this is about seven inches would fit my wrist I'm just gonna do a few more just to show you so again this is the empty slot here I'll just count one two three take this one and put it here and turn it the same way one two three so it's just a repetition and a few more of these and you would really become an expert so I'm just going to take it off from my foam my craft form or my improvised Kamihimo loom like this and I'm just going to tie another knot here. I'm just going to cut it short. It's too long. Don't worry, it's not going to come apart. It's braided. And it should be okay. Just tie another knot here for your closure. So this opening right here is where your other knot is going to go for closure. So you will have your bracelet. I think it looks pretty. And there it is on my wrist with my other Komihimo bracelets.